How long will it take before the mask falls off my face? And how long will it take before my eyes speak out the truth? And how hard will I break when the rules no longer stand and thoughts are running out of air? And how hard will I fall when I can't get through this at all? It's getting dark to break my walls, but no one gets my point at all. At all, at all, at all. So no one gets my point at all, at all, at all, at all. I've been told, don't speak unless spoken to. So I haven't talked to God in a while. I'm wondering if he can even recognize my voice at this point. And if it ever decides to take flight to heaven, will it come labeled anonymous confession? I'm not sure if this is me talking or the wine from communion, but I'm drunk with the Holy Spirit right now. I'm beginning to think my skeletons can enter rooms before I do. Know that the Holy Ghost is a lot more alive than I am confession. I've broken Sabbath so many times, it is now just a wounded day. It feels like a dare to play dead for 24 hours straight and still call it praise, I'll be honest. I only see angels when I puff out smoke. I find God in the eyes of places, confession. I run from cathedrals, I hurdle over pews. God, our relationship is anorexic, sin I is obese. I am stuck in the middle of a tug of war between truth and tradition, confession. My faith, it tends to crucify the resurrection out of saints. Question, who has more blood on their hands? Jesus from saving lives or us from taking them? There's a special place in hell for those who can pray heaven out of people, leaving more room for demons to make home out of human. I don't feel human. I once believed that my sins fell through the whole between Jesus and Paul and the nails dug in. I behave like I'm not one of his children. When you only talk doctrine, you lose all emotion. Confession, I have not praised in months. I'm afraid that the lifting of my hands will only look like a position of guilt. Not one of surrender. It's gotten to the point that my writing is a better person than me. My poems are a lot more religious than I am. I don't feel like scripture anymore in confession. God, I am scared of you. I get drunk to forget you. I get high to get next to you. Just to see if you can recognize my face. Hey, I've laid my sins at your to one week and return the next to pick them back up. I miss them. I get nostalgic. I wonder if Satan ever goes to church and gets nostalgic too. Honestly, I'm tired of being honest. Honestly, I'm tired of wrapping my honesty in a lie. I'm tired of being transparent and invisible at the same time. Confession. I'm not always excited for your return like the rest of them. I believe that when you come back, I'll go extinct. Sometimes I weaken my strength and strengthen my weakness with heavy drinks. Can't tell if I am drowning my sorrows or baptizing them. Wow. Hoping to make even the ugliest parts of me holy. I am far from holy, so God tell me, was I really created in your image? Even though my nights don't always have you in them. Even though I can take a shot faster than I can find a book in the Bible. Even though I enter churches smelling like I just smoked from a tree of good and evil. Even though I don't believe my name has your son's blood on it. Even though I am scared to talk to you. I am so scared to talk to you. I can tell an audience full of strangers more about myself than I can ever tell you. Mm. More than I probably ever will. Last confession. I'm still waiting for this poem to mold itself into a testimony. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the day where I can spit a victory into the microphone. Until then, let the sinner say, How long will it take before the mask falls off my face? And how long will it take before my eyes speak out the truth? And how hard will I break when the rules no longer stand and thoughts are running out of air? And how hard will I fall when 
I can't get through this at all. It's getting darker, break my walls. But no one gets my point at all. At all. At all. At all. So no one gets my point at all. At all. At all.